Yo, what's going on guys? AP Shaco is an absolute monster here in preseason 14. His main item, Leandre's, is much, much stronger. It gives way more stats for cheaper. Only 3,000 gold and they made the max health damage do 2% max health instead of 1% max health like it was in season 13. So we're going to be rushing this down first item and you don't even get the wasted mana like you used to. The mana is pretty worthless as a jungler. You're constantly getting pumped up full of mana from blue buffs, from your jungle item as well, so it's just not necessary. After Leandre's, you do have lots of options. What I think is best is Ludin's Companion. If you hit a single target with it, the charges on it do extra damage. And a lot of the times, you're only hitting one person with a dagger or with a singular box. So this item's pretty cracked. I will say Storm Surge is good, but in the early game, it's hard to actually proc on Shaco. So I think Ludin's into Shadow Flame into Storm Surge is best after we have our uh, Leandre's. We'll get our next box over here towards our red buff. You don't want to lay it too close because... We want to have that activate when we want it to activate because we can't do it while we're over here. We already told our teammates no leash, just keep watch. Easy peasy. I don't think AD Shaco is really worth playing. Uh, to me, it feels like a worse version of Rengar or Kha'Zix. Meanwhile, AP Shaco is an anti-carry. He can interact with people from from all the way across the map with his boxes. So if a, a Master Yi or an Irelia walks into your box and... You got some items, you can do like half their health and it's pretty crazy. We didn't quite get him to walk into this box, but that's alright. It's basically just going to end up costing us some extra HP. Not a huge deal. We'll go ahead and get our box over, jump. And we will be smiting the Krug here. Boop. We should be able to do roughly a 322 leashless high HP, no potion needed. As you can see, I didn't even take a potion. Yeah, not bad. Pretty happy with that. Nothing's gankable. So from here, we could invade enemy jungler, but it's a Warwick. Do we really want to fight Warwick? No. Tomplate isn't gankable. So are we going to gank? Answer is no. Instead, we're going to back, get our Dark Sill, and try to get some value from having red buff. Warwick's doing a full clear, which is viable. Warwick can finish. Ah, oh, man, I timed it. I think I can do it around 325-ish. It's not that bad. I think the issue is Warwick's just bad compared to champions like Briar. Briar's a way better version of Warwick. Does everything he can do, but more consistently. And Scale's better. Sad, but true. Briar's been nerfed a lot too. Not enough. That's the thing about the new champions. Their kits are so overloaded that if the numbers are right, there's it's just not even fair to play against. So they have to just keep tweaking the numbers down to where the champs balance. But the kits are literally just overloaded. All right, we'll just do the blue buff push out. We don't really need level four. These guys are doing an all in here. Jin needs to move away. Bring him to me, my guy. So the thing about ganks is, sure, you need your jungler to be there to gank, but at the same time, the laners can help out a lot with not doing what this guy's doing. Got her with the ignite and my dagger. We ended up getting her flash as well. Like he's pushing them away. If he just keeps pulling back, they'll chase into it. We can go for bot scuttle here. Wait, is she gonna stay? Nice, I got the fourth shot. Jin gets the kill. Or I got the turret shot, I should say. Warwick's coming on over. I need to get above half health here. We'll smite him early, get the execute damage on E. I can back right here, maybe bait the Warwick into doing something dumb. We're sitting on a decent amount of gold. I wouldn't mind spending from this position, especially since Warwick's level 4, potentially my bot side jungle. It's a lot of risk with me staying. Let's get as much of this as we can. We got Blasting Wand. I'm not going to bother with Control Word. We're going to have Oracles. Uh, we're going to be going Box Max Shaco. It's the fastest way to clear on Shaco. Plus, your boxes are insane for team fights and just for poking people down like a Teemo Mushroom. You can max E first, but it's going to hurt your clears massively. Got it with the E auto into the back. Our autos and E's all do more damage from our passive if we hit people in the back with it. Cyan's getting kind of low. Might be able to do something there. I don't really want to use my box here. It's about to gank. I pinged early there. A lot of times when you ping your teammate, it will go in that moment and like... A little too early to be honest with you i took off his shield it's gonna hurt his damage output a bit we get the kill we don't have dark harvest or anything but i do have the hell blades 
Got a box down. Down he goes. I didn't get the kill, but that's all right. We've got some Dark Steel stacks. The problem with Dark Harvest is the same problem a lot of other runes have is they got turbo nerfed. Keystones, almost all of them. It was like 80% of them got turbo nerfed. Hellblades was not. And Hellblades was already very, very, very good on Shaco. It was already one of his best, if not his best keystone. That's why going Dark Harvest these days, look at the win rates across any ELO or region and you'll find the Hellblades is just higher. It is. And it's way more, way more consistent. It's not as if, oh, but if you're really fed, the Dark Harvest, this and that. No. False. Hellblades allows you to be consistently fed like every game. Because on the ganks, pam, pam, pam. You're slamming out autos. All of your autos slow as long as your E is not on cooldown. So we can hit whip them with the triple auto that's slowing for 20% per two seconds, which is pretty decent. Didn't need to smite it there. My boxes are doing some wild damage. You get to use at least one box per camp as well. Yeah, look at that damage. My goodness. That's why you go box max, guys. It actually lets you farm without being the slowest champion in the game at farming. Jaco's biggest power spike early on is his three camp solo off red buff. Or red buff side, so wrap red Krugs. That's a huge power spike for him because he does it so efficiently. After that, though, he kind of has to play in the ganks. But then with the box max, your clears don't really slow down that much. Talon's looking for me, scumbag. He's level 6. He's not even fed. I don't think he could kill me if I'm full health. We'll go bot side. I like ink and bot laners. They're usually the lowest level. Let's see if there's something there. Oh, there is. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta bo boogie on out of here. Bot lane reacts, but I'm Shaco. Not a whole lot they can do. Whoa, work at a fast level six. It's pre seven minute 30 level six. Again with an auto. Uh, I'll go for Trist. Put some damage on her forehead. Defensive box lay. We still might be able to do something here, to be honest. Warc has no R. I'm just waiting for my box. Oof, that missed. Okay, we get the assist. It's worth for now. Oh, this is bad. The box got her. Thank God. That would have been really bad if it didn't. She'd probably kill Senna there. <laughs> Warwick's kind of trolling around. I could use my R to farm this safely. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind using my R here. As funny as that sounds. My R won't attack it though, holy crap. Is he gonna kill it or not? Need to bring my box in, got her with the E, or bring my clone in. The clone didn't really get much value there. We did at least get the Dark Harvest stack and the Dark Seal stack offer. That's nice. Is she really following me? I'm over the wall, skadoosh. I need that Santa Hill. Catch him with the E. I'll put a box down on my forehead here. If I see Warwick coming. Oh, he is. This guy's trolling. Thank you for the Dark Harvest stack, my friend. Very nice of him. Or <laughs> why am I saying Dark Harvest? I don't have Dark Harvest this game. Thank you for the Dark Seal stack. <laughs> I keep thinking I have Dark Harvest. Now I got Hellblades. Hellblades is way better. The nice thing about Relentless Hunter over Ultimate Hunter is Relentless Hunter actually does something for your first five levels. Obviously, you can't use your ultimate for the first five levels. The second thing is we're moving 380 right now. Champions with tier two boots are generally moving 380. I don't even have boots. I haven't invested gold into boots. I have a really early first item rush. I'm moving 380 out of combat. It's wild. Love this setup, man. Makes makes you feel powerful and very early on too. Our win con is definitely just getting full stack mesh and letting our box kill everybody. It'll chunk the crap out of Scion too. It's max health damage. The box reapplies the Andre's burn. Should be able to go over this wall. Yep. 
We get our R down. Oh. This is bad. I don't know if his R is up. We get him with a dagger. Oh my gosh. His R had to be on cooldown, dude. If his R was up, I'd die there so many times. Since he was taking damage from us, it was taking off his bonus movement speed since I was low. Good grief, man. Talon might be coming for me. This guy plays super kill heavy. I would not be surprised if he did here. Yeah, with that, get our box down. Oh, his thing actually killed it. Get a thing, Night E. He's dead. All right, I need to get Mesh at this point. <laughs> I'm, I have ten stacks. My teammates give me a sick leash here. Might actually be able to stay. It feels weird staying though, because I'm not getting dark harvest stacks. And I'm not getting dark seal stacks, so I'm just basically farming gold off these guys. Oh, she's really going to do that. Bro, have some respect. Auto into E. I saved my E for as long as possible to get the execute on it. Sick. Well played to the gin. I hate it when your teammates turn around because they're like, but I need to get the kill. And then they just trade one for one. That, that was nice to see. Now we'll push Mej. Dude, I, we're not even going to get boots this game. Let me show you. We are moving 426. Dude, that's faster than champions who go for Swifties. That's like basically Mobies right now. We're moving Mobies. Good grief. All right, uh, probably Ludens now. Ludens into Shadow Flame is what I'm thinking. Bring my R out, because I'm gonna dump him on Scion anyways. I need my Q though. My clone might actually be able to get him here. I get my slow on him. Eh, yeah. I actually, actually couldn't kill him. I really did though, so good for her. That was a bummer, man. <laughs> He's kind of tanky. Got Mej off of him. I'll lay a defensive box for now. I'm in enemy territory with no Q, so I need something ooh defensive. Let him box through the work. I'm going to queue away from the scumbag. This bag of scum. Uh, what does he have? He's not even a full item here. He's getting pretty low off that. I know Scion's going to be here in a moment. Uh, Talon's missing. I'm nervous. This is getting weird. Not a fan of that. Really don't want to lose my mesh stacks. Whatever. Let's take our red buff. Getting red jungle item will help us out a lot with our damage output. It's max health damage and a slow. It does have a cooldown, of course. It's kind of like a static shiv. It stacks up pretty quickly. Can my box solo raptors from here? Let's see. It's at 1,000 health. I have Leandri's and... Yeah, my box easily solos. My box could solo Raptor Camp if Raptor Camp's nearly full health. Boxes like you've never seen before. Boop. That should kill. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. There's no other way to play Shaco right now. You gotta go AP Shaco box max. Anything else can't clear. It's a sad truth. Everything else just cannot clear. That being said, our CS is stupid low. We've been playing for a lot of kills this game. They knew I was there. He literally just R'd my clone. What a goober. He thinks his damage is that high. My clone takes increased damage by 50%. Uh, I could have queued smited potentially. 
You get her with an E and walk away. Yeah, we can force. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have R. Why am I playing so scared? I forgot. He already wasted it. Oh, this is bad. That was really, really bad. I didn't have my R, so doing that to Triss was unacceptable. At least we get the assist, so we get some of our mesh back. We'll go ahead and pick up Sork Shoes now. It'll be nice for getting away from crap like that, because once we're in combat, we're moving kind of slow. We're at 8 stacks. We can get back to 10 pretty quickly here. I would say Luden still, although Sh Storm Surge is extremely tempting. I think the Ludens is best, although you do get the wasted mana. The way the uh, load and fire works is really nice. It's really, really nice. Just gotta be, uh, gotta be mindful to not lose our stacks. So if my R is down, I can't go into melee mode on AP Shaco. Quick way to die. Oh, Mono Ward. He really thinks he's gonna get that. His bombies is making him tank turret here as well. He's moving really fast. I might actually die here still. Hmm. Does he not have fear? All right, that's bad. <laughs> I thought I could kill Scion. Ward ran me down with blood scent. Surprised my Leandris wasn't, I guess I hadn't hit him with an ability. Got Scion with my R. All right, we're gonna be playing some heavy farm Shaco action. That's all of our mesh like a goober. I guess we could just go bot and farm them. Still counts as farming. Absolute gathering scaling up, so it's not like we're gonna fall off necessarily in the late game. Not necessarily gonna fall off. No one's trying to match Scion for whatever reason. We're just letting him shove mid so we can look for weird miscellaneous kills. We need our teammates to clear some wards, man. Got her with my E and my smite. I mean, if Tristana wants this, I think she dies for it, right? Could have hit her with my E. It, it definitely would not have killed, though. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I'm giving Warwick a massive blood scent. Nice, he ran into a box. Sorry, Jin. I don't want to die for you, buddy. I just got some of my mesh back. If my W... Oh, nice. Yeah, if, if my W was up, you're still on cooldown for another four or five seconds. I would have stayed late at four. I would Q, try to get him with a dagger once Talon overcommitted for Jin. But this guy is literally just being allowed to AFK split push because our mid laners would rather hide in the enemy's jungle and wait for kills. Absolute dingleberry. Absolute dingleberry. Bork has more CS than us. That's kind of rough. I have. I don't even remember if I've invaded War with this game. It's kind of hard to invade him to fight him. You can only really invade to steal camps. He went for the Titanic rush, which. One of his stronger first item rushes. They removed Divine Sunder this season. It's left Warwick feeling crappy. It was one of his best core items before. They should have left it in the game, especially since they've removed the concept of Mythics. He could build that in his build and have other high tier items. Drax coming up here in a moment. You just got out this area. I 
All right, we'll send him out. We don't want to lay our box too close or he'll attack the box and one tap it. Like he did there. <laughs> it's, just, it's so dumb that it does that, but. He one taps our R boxes and our normal boxes. Should definitely not be the case. All right, cool. First drag, some tenacity. Got the Shaco box. Good luck getting to somebody here, Warwick. Senna's gunning him down. Warwick's on Ghost, though. Bro, Senna's not even on Ghost, and she's running and gunning this guy down. That is a wild. <laughs> what is that character? Warwick's tier 2 boots on Ghost, and he got ran down by a freaking Senna. My goodness. This is bad. I'm dead. That is very, very upsetting. Zyra plant giga slowed me. Not even turbo slow. I mean, turb like mega o giga <sighs> nuclear slowed. Could not move. Is what it is. At least we got the drag. Trist bomb, 427. My goodness. Doing some serious damage. About 20% of my health. She only autoed me twice as well with it on. Nice. We finally have our two item power spike. No mesh stacks to be seen. Two full item Trist, two full item Warp, two full item Science. We're definitely not gold fed at all whatsoever we are on a an acceptable power spike should be able to just leave this here pretty sure boop All right, we're out of here. Farm it up. Got to be ready for next drag fight. These little embers, when you pick them up, they give you a tiny bit of ability haste. It's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Tiny bit. It's also a speed up when you initially pick it up. Very solid. Whew. All right, let's get this mesh stacked again. Damaging abilities consume all the shots. So yeah, you can use it against even non-champions, monsters, minions. Come on, baby, give me the assist. Oh, there we go. There we go. We could also go for Rylai's for our box. It's pretty funny when Shaco does that. A Reginald item already acts as a little Rylize. Rylize would be decent for sure. Thought they might be here. They kind of pushed up. It's like a little Ludens, yeah. <laughs> This, wow, this eye opens up fast. Holy crap. Alright, don't mind if I do. Use my E early, get it off cooldown. Nice. Town's kind of on the split push. That's alright. You can do that. Boxes are lasting 70 seconds now because they do scalp with your AP. I think they start at 40, about 40 seconds. And that's almost double now. Block him off with my R, let my clone do the work. He's about to blow up on them. We slow him with our E, and let our box once again do the work. Oh, they killed it. Did their bombies kill my box that fast? Is that what happened? 
that's what it looked like. Alright, let the box finish it. Jin giving me a generous leash. He still gets it. Oh, he's not in range for the box. That's unfortunate. Oh, I wasn't there for dragon. I'm trolling. That's my bad. It's a flame drag too of all dragons. I got lost in the sauce trying to farm up. Make up for my lost mesh stacks. I just collected some more right here. It seems like my box is getting damaged by the bomb. It's doing some absurd damage. Hey friend, why don't you munch on that, buddy? Oh, you're starting to take some damage there, Buster. He's, he's taking a little bit of damage. Finally, starting to catch up and see us on the Warwick. Sounds funny to say out loud. Oh, there's a plant here. Thank goodness it wasn't a slow plant. It was just a normal Q plant. <clears throat> her Q plants have more range, her slow plants have less range, but obviously, it's slow. Yeah, I actually do some damage to Scion. Demonic, you know, <laughs> would be a good item here. Demonic doesn't technically exist, but there is Malignance. It's not max health damage, though, so. We could go for uh, Rift Maker, realistically. I think we'll go Storm Surge into uh, Rift Maker or Shadow Flame. Rift Maker true damage is pretty sick. It'd be insane for Scion. Get a box down, get him with the E. He's got to be happy about that, not dying there. We, can, we get to pick all these up since it's Flame Soul. Nice. We're at four match, dude. Look at us go. Can one box and one E solo Raptor can't? Let's find out. All right, guys. One box and one E? <laughs> well, <laughs> besides that little cheating turd, killed Raptor can't. That is sick. I'm gonna use R. Cyan's about to walk over here. Get a box down, block this scumbag off. Keep my clone on him as well. My clone will about to blow up here in a second. There you go, buddy. Let the damage consume you. There you go, buddy. All right, don't know where work is. It makes me a little nervous. You can hop this wall <laughs> if only I had a box. That's why Wade's still running, most likely. <clears throat> Being able to kill Scion's pretty cool. I'm a fan. He's a big old thick tanky boy, infinite scaling health. He doesn't have Kanic. That's a huge mistake. If you're playing against AP champs, always go Kanic. We do have a lot of AD, though, so we'll see how good he is against uh, your Jin and stuff. Um, wow, she actually activated my box with that nonsense. Zyra is such a pest champion, dude. Imagine if I could actually lay a box and not have it break instantly. That'd be kind of kind of nice. I think Talon's over here. Got some damage on him. Not a whole lot. Yeah, Zyra's still over here being a nuisance. Got him with the E and the box. Very nice. He's, he's kind of low health now. Jeez, she's still putting down crap. He's like, Zyra, quit doing that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah, dang. He smited it. Boof. Got him with the E. Hey, 
Hey, talent. All right, I died. <laughs> oh no, the talent burst. I didn't think he could do that. What items does this guy have? He has Profane Hydra for splitting. It's an AoE lethality item. He has Hubris and Brutalizer. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So basically two and a half items. We'll pick up our Storm Surge. And probably just go Rift Maker next for true damage. Could even go Zhonya's. Zhonya's would be good. At some point we'll end up selling our boots. We won't need boots for boxes. We need drag is what we need. I'll head over there right now. This drag is AoE damage. We gotta be careful with how we lay our boxes on it. I'll tell you that. Try to pick up some of these little flame things along the way. For some movement speed. I guess we're not doing dragon. That seems like a huge mistake. I gotta slow these guys down then. Make make taking dragon a little uncomfortable for them. Alright, we get Warwick with the E. She thinks she's killing the real Shaco there. That's kind of funny. This is not warded either. Got her ignited. She's also boxed up. Rest in piss won't be missed. <laughs> That's what she gets. She's been making my life hell with her plants. And then we take the wave. So we get a kill. We slow down Warwick. We slow down their whole team. Do some damage to Warwick. Like I said, we get the kill. We've already, we've already done what we need to do, essentially. Now Warwick's basically got to reset or die. Nice. I get the assist. That's huge. We'll slow him with E. I really just need to keep moving. She's feeding him grasp and heart still. That's huge, man. That is so good. That's what I'm saying. AP Shaco is kind of nuts. If you can get to a situation, get a box or two set up, you have your R in a weird spot where they think it's the real one, you can get so much value. So much value. Send him away. Teleport him back out. We'll, we'll put him right here. They'll think it's the... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> she ran away from it. Tr trying to make it look natural is hard sometimes. Once they get goofed on by it, they start to uh, be a little more skeptical. Got defensive box, offensive box. Someone walks into this, I'll hit him with an E. I can jump out. I'll get rid of that. Take away their chase down. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's a box and an E. That's what you get, Zyra. This is what I've been talking about, guys. This is what I hyped up at the start of the video. We're finally getting to see it 34 minutes in. Got the Ludens Burst with the Storm Surge Burst. If I do 35% of Champion's health within two and a half seconds, I take a bunch of extra damage and I get movement speed out of it as well. It's huge, huge, huge value. Got our little guy on, just an eye on here. Sunfire kills it. Sunfire kills it really easily. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. <laughs> Nice. Oof. Let's punch in my boxes. Okay, we've got the Luden's massive burst, the Storm Surge burst, Leandre's max health damage. Now we're stacking up Mesh. We're, we're, we're in a really good spot. Fi finally, where we need to be. I don't know if Baron one shots boxes. He probably does. I'm not the right champion to tank this. Yeah, Aurelia tanks it a lot better. Self heal. She also built armor. Yeah, Baron. Oh, come on. A, a max level box, is that really right for Baron or Dragon to one tap it with a single auto? Come on now.
I think I could just lay W E and it will take care of it. From here, I mean, we don't really need self heal. It's only Warwick. Be nice to have an Oracles here. Send our guy down this way. I need a defensive box to play around. We gotta watch our spacing here. Hey Zyra, you wanna play with him? Talon just died to somebody. Probably just end down middle right now. Got a lot of vision control with boxes. Oop, there you go, Zyra. Oh, the Jin. Yeah, Jin Shaco's a pretty nut combo. I ignited her for the assist. We certainly didn't need it. I think she DC'd there. That should be game. Should it be. Got the defensive box lay. Lay it around our AD carry. You can step forward, step back. Get him with the dagger. Let's get our R in there. There's just so much chaos in there right now. Yeah, he's running in the boxes. <laughs> that must be fun, man. We had a really weird power spike lull. After we lost our med stacks, couldn't do a whole lot. Being on this power spike is completely different. What a game, dude. Take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we're number two in the game. Shockingly behind Irelia of all people. I suppose her Bork crunching into Scion would produce that effect, but still, it seemed like Jin was pulling more damage than it said he was, but Bork is quite the item. For damage taken, we were pretty low middle of the pack. Self-mitigated, we were low middle. If a rune's high value, all in all, AP Shaco pretty nuts in the butts here in preseason 14. If you guys enjoyed this Shaco video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out tremendously. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.